Today, Kevin and I are gonna be trying two fun cakes for you all. I have the Toblerone chocolate cake. And I have the dime um, almond, Swedish almond cake. These were $7.49 each at Meyer, so they're not cheap. Uh, they're baked by Almondy, the Swedish cake bakery. Both of them are. Mm -hmm. uh, Swedish bakery, gluten-free, keep frozen. These were in the frozen section. Uh, they were by all of the other cakes the and pies. The cakes and yes. all that stuff. Uh, this Toblerone of Switzerland chocolate cake is topped with chunks of Toblerone milk chocolate. What you do is, since they're frozen, you want to, um, at room temperature, if you want to uh, defrost it by the slice, it only takes 30 minutes. If you want to defrost the whole cake, it takes 50 minutes. So, uh, as you can see, we defrosted both cakes. Um, and I thought that because a lot of cakes, when you buy them here, they're wrapped in plastic. So when I took it out, I expected it to be wrapped in cellophane. It's not, it's just in there, just like it is. So just know that. Um, and you can put it on a paper plate. It does have a base, a little like cardboard base here. Very um, thin. It says to facilitate serving, loosen the paper tray and cut the cake into the desired number of portions while still frozen. I uh, did not do that. Didn't do that. When cutting, use a sharp knife dipped in hot water. Um, it says Toblerone chocolate cake combines naturally tasty almond bases with rich chocolate cream and smooth milk chocolate mousse. Topped with a generous sprinkle of Toblerone chunks, all deliciously smothered with milk chocolate. There are eight servings in here and one slice is 220 calories. So do you trust me to cut this? Yeah, it's in eighths, right? Yes. So it's like half, half, and then half. And remember, they wanted you to cut it while it was still frozen, so you can learn from my mistake. Keeps it from squishing that I did not, I did not do that. So yours will look prettier when you buy it. I think yeah. you're gonna have to go straight down. Yeah, yeah. Don't, don't mush it. Okay. Yeah, at an angle. Now just cut one of those in half. Boom. There you go. Okay. There we go. Okay, so can you hold that up? Is there no, any way to? There's no way. You'll just have to wait for a picture. Well, I figured you just hold the Yeah, I mean, that, that's it. Yeah, I mean, you really can't okay. see it. We'll have a picture of it, though. Do you want to? Good. I'm just I'm gonna put it on the edge here. Tell you what, an eighth is not very big. I'm gonna get one of those too. Mmm. Mmm. Those are soft. Yeah, that's where the, it's mushy. Like, what? Well, yeah, right these little, they look like little like balls around the edges. Mm -hmm. Those are like, just like what you said. They're like little whipped cream balls. They're really, really soft. Um, that's good. It's kind of plainer than I was expecting. I agree. It's good chocolate. It's a good piece of cake if you want to serve it. Uh, to somebody coming over it is it's very good and has a good chocolate flavor it's not one that like if kevin and i were going to be like we're going to go buy something bad for us and we want to eat this on a friday night it's not that kind of thing i would want something with different flavors yeah so this is just like a, a little bit of a sweet chocolate flavor with some almonds in it. yes really. i'm really and looking forward to this one i cut it while you're talking it, it's okay. It's not for a kid. It's definitely like like a kid's cake. It's more of an adult's flavor. I, I can imagine so a kid liking that. Because it's not overly sweet. No. So, dime candy bars are very, very popular in the United Kingdom. I know, I'm sure other places, but I know specifically the United Kingdom. And they are absolutely delicious candy bars. If you see them at world market or any place like that and you've you've wondered about them you need to try it because it is fantastic um and so i'm hoping this will live up to it okay swedish almond cake with chocolate and crunchy caramel 
It says Swedish almond cake with chocolate and crunchy caramel combines tasty almond bases with a golden cream and crunchy caramel, all deliciously covered in smooth milk chocolate. And it says for this one, if you want it by the slice, it only takes 20 minutes to defrost and 30 minutes for the whole cake. So it's less for this one than the other one. Uh, it says, uh, once again, you were supposed to slice it while it was frozen. This one was better because it wasn't as crispy or crunchy as yours. Right. Own. This one was a softer chocolate on the top, so I was able to just like push right through. Uh, this one is a, an eighth of the cake again. is 210 calories. So it's 10 less. So do you want to... <laughs> Um, yeah, this one was much easier to cut through as far as getting it. That was more of a crispy topping. This was a softer chocolate topping. So it stayed together better. The first thing I noticed is all the layers. Mm -hmm. And all the different textures that are going mm -hmm. on in there. You That's get a crispiness. You get some firm layers you get some softness in there i like the flavor of the caramel there's some crunchy bits in there mm -hmm. I, I like that on the better. top yeah all that on the top i like this one better mm -hmm. i think all those pieces on the top are I'll probably the dime bar um this one has a better flavor to it the the only bad thing about it is the texture of the cake part it's a little, um, I don't know, it tastes like wet cake, mm. a little bit. Don't you agree? It kind of mm. tastes like a, it's not like soaking, like sopping wet cake, but it tastes like it has been wet and it's dried out and it's kind of got this little bit of a, a gooey kind of texture. I don't know, it's hard to explain. This is gonna sound awful, because I really do like it, but it's like when you get a piece of cardboard wet and it has that texture, yeah. that's the texture of the inside yeah, of, that. of the cake. Of the cake part, yes. yes. But I, I like the flavor. I, if, if you buy this, I still, <coughs> you're gonna wonder, does this represent dime? No, no. I don't think it does. I, I think- It's still not this sweet. A dime bar is like up here, and this is like down here. So yeah. it's good out of the two, it's better. But it's still, you need to try this candy bar if you if you haven't. And we even had, uh, someone sent us an orange one, mm -hmm. uh, or several orange ones. And I'm the good. one that ate those after we did the review. It was, it was delicious, and it was like a seasonal thing. And it's like, they should have these out year-round, because it was awesome. Um, they're like a... Uh, like a Heath bar is what it would remind mm -hmm. you of yep. here. It's, it's like yeah, a Heath bar. Toffee. Yeah, it's, it's like a Heath bar. It's absolutely delicious. So if you see these at Meyer, I think it was kind of pricey for $7.49. But out of the two, dime. the dime. Dime wins every time. The Toblerone is good. It's just plainer. Yeah, it needs some sweetness yeah. to it too. It really does, but you could take some syrup <laughs> and you could dress it up yourself with some caramel or chocolate syrup and it, then it would be fantastic. Then it would be perfect, don't you think? Maybe. <laughs> so anyway, I will have a picture for you all at the end. If you've tried either one of these, I would love to know what you think in the comments below and thanks for watching.